Hi and welcome to this video. My name is Brian Nelson from Encaustic Art Plus, based in Elsica, South Yorkshire. Hi, welcome to the video. In a previous video you saw me do um, this background um, when I was using the hot plate and dragging wax through. The background is now cold. Um, I'm just coming back to it with the Stylus Pro on setting one with the drawing tip. I'm just going to enhance it a little bit and sort of finish the picture off. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to twist my picture um, a quarter turn um, and this area here I've decided it's made like a natural mound or a path. So I'm going to put a castle type thing here and some bats and a tree bits and pieces. Um, just something that's manageable by lots of people really, just to give you an idea. So I'm using a mixture of dark blues, blacks and greys. And some of you all have seen me do castles before. The easiest way of doing it is three dots. Just put three marks, one, two, three, and then it's little lines from those marks to link to the others. One from around that area. What I'm trying to do with this one is to run the wax a little bit um, more fluid than normal just because of it being a drag technique picture before so it'll actually look like it we're all part of the same thing. Go over this. The way to make these things look reasonably realistic is to keep these uprights roughly parallel to your card. Castly thing, I'll just show you at the end of this big pathway. Right, let's put a, a big tree or something coming up this side. sort of like hidden amongst the patination but it's there. I'm going to pop another one in this side. flying things, birds or bats or whatever you want to call them.
we go. Just uh, crown this tree in a bit. Happy with that one. I'll just enhance the bottom of the trees there with the Stylus Pro. Again, all used on setting one on the uh, thing with the drying tip. Happy painting, everyone, and we'll look forward to seeing you all in our next video. Please hit like and subscribe. <laughs>